A recent study predicts a one foot sea level rise in the next 30 years, leaving Hawaii homes and highways with an uncertain future. Nikki Schenfeld has more. Experts say there is nothing humans can do to stop sea level rise, but we can start adapting with it. And it needs to happen soon before major highways are inundated by the rising tide. It's slowly happening. Beaches are disappearing. Homes are being threatened. And the ocean is sweeping over highways more often during high tide and surf events. There's really nothing we can do to stop sea level rise. The new NOAA report basically confirms what we've known for quite a while. In its way, homes and highways built decades ago. We have developed the whole state, and in fact, the whole world has developed their coastal zone largely under a set of laws and policies that did not recognize the reality of sea level rise. A 2019 report looked at the most vulnerable highway areas in the state. The top five were Kamehameha Highway in Houla and Kaaava, Kalaniana Ole Highway, Kuhio Highway in Waikoko on Kauai's North Shore, and Hono Api'ilani Highway near Oluwalu on Maui. The DOT has protected the areas for the short term, and they're even moving highways Mauka. 20% of our highways are expected to get impacted by 2100, which means by 2050, all of those roads will get impacted. 20% means if I had to relocate or raise those roads, that means $15 billion. It's a lot of money. Money that other states are competing for, too. Fletcher and Sniffin say hard discussions need to happen, including relocating communities or raising them and building roads behind them. Do we see it feasible to raise the land in Waikiki and redesign the buildings on raised land? Is it feasible to move out of Waikiki and somehow uh, deconstruct Waikiki and leave it in the form of the wetland that it originally was over 100 years ago? These are questions that um, we need to engage in. There's no scenario in which sea level rise stops this century or next century. And understand it's going to take time and money for us to get this system to be as resilient as necessary for that 2100 year. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHO2 News, working for Hawaii.